Okay, so with this setup I've got a 2015 iMac with Thunderbolt 2 coming out to this Lacy drive um, and then so from here I've got a Thunderbolt daisy chained across to another Lacy drive and then from here daisy chained from Thunderbolt 2 to a Thunderbolt 3 adapter it's a genuine Apple accessory because it only works with this this is the QNAP sorry QNAP uh, let's see QNAP TS 453BT it's a 4 bay NAS um, but more than that it also allows dual Thunderbolt connections now these are Thunderbolt 3 connections um, and at the front here there's a USB at the back there's two Ethernet gigabit ports as well so the reason why I got this was uh, well this is my editing station so I've got the iMac um, running Final Cut Pro using the QNAP drive uh, to edit and to yeah, well to store all the files and then um, I've got a MacBook Pro Thunderbolt 2 um, so unfortunately I, I need to get an adapter or I can actually go from Thunderbolt to Ethernet to the back of the QNAP. So that's the setup at the moment. Until later on, I'll be upgrading these to um, Thunderbolt 3 ports um, of a MacBook Pro and iMac. Um, and in terms of backups, I've just got a bare bones hard drive here, and that's just, just connected by USB to the iMac. Um, and so I'm using RSync to copy across the files from uh, the QNAP to the bare bones hard drive. Um, now there is a bit of configuration that's required as well to allow the, um, the, the iMac or the MacBook Pro to see the, the volumes as NFS and not AFP um, because that, that's what's required for Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro won't allow reading of projects directly from a network drive um, so it has to be through NFS anyway that's the setup it's actually taken me a while to kind of like work out how it all kind of talks to each other um, but yeah if you've got any questions just chuck them in the comments below